Okay, so so far what we know is region 1 is an area or a distance of 400 meters and it took 20 seconds to do it, so this point here is t is equal to 20. Region 2, the area is 40 times t2, where this from here to here is t2. Therefore this point here is 20 seconds plus t2. And if we call this one here t3, this as in from here to here is t3 seconds, therefore at this point is 20 plus t2 plus t3. So let's do region 3. We start with our UVAST. Now don't worry if you're if you don't see a full plan yet. Just fill out all the different variables that you can possibly do first and then start thinking about it. So the initial velocity for region 3 is the final velocity for region 2, that was 40. It goes to rest, decelerates by negative 5 meters per second squared. We don't know the time and we don't know the distance. So if we try V is equal to U plus AT. We see the only unknown is T, therefore this will work. So we have 0 is equal to 40 minus 5T t is equal to 8 seconds, like that. Therefore t3 up here is equal to 8 seconds and therefore this point here is equal to 28 plus t3 seconds, like that. Its distance, we'll try the usual v squared is equal to u squared plus 2as, no we won't, we'll try s is equal to u plus v over 2 times t so we say s is equal to 40 plus 0 over 2 times t, which we said was 8. So that's um, 20 times 8, so that's 160 meters. So region 3 is 160 meters, like that. Okay, that's nothing new to us. We're, we're well used to that at this stage. Um, just one moment there now. I've actually lost my, my eraser, so I'll use another one here, like that. Now, we're given in the question, we're told that the total distance travel is 1,000 meters. So region 1 area plus region 2 area plus region 3 area adds up to 1,000 meters. So let's do that. So we say 400 plus 40 T2 plus 160 is equal to a grand. 40 T2 is equal to 1000 minus 160 minus 400 40 T2 is equal to 1000 uh, sorry not 1000 600 minus 160 40 T2 is equal to 440 T2 is equal to 11 seconds like that that means that this area, this region here, that's 11 seconds. That means the total area is 40 times 11, so that's, uh, what's it, 440 meters like that. Now, this time here is 28 plus T3, so that's 39 seconds. 39 seconds like that. So, uh, let's check that at the back of the book. To be question 5, 39 seconds is the total time correct, that distance there is 160, uh, yeah, and 400. So all of those are correct, so that was that was reasonably straightforward. Now what I'd like to do very quickly is just uh, you show you uh, how, how you could use tangent in order to do this. Now I've gone into detail into how to use tangent in, uh, in, in questions after this, I think it may be, may be uh, questions seven, six, seven and eight, six, seven and eight, yeah, I've actually got into good detail about this. But I'll do it here, and if you want to find out how to really do it, look at the questions six, seven, eight, and question on exercise 2b. But anyway, uh, we're told that, um, we, we'll say for region one here, okay? So we'll say if we call that alpha like that. Tan alpha is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. A, D, oh, what's a D? That's a B. That's a, excuse me. <laughs> it's terrible. A D J. A D J like that. Now, if there's alpha, the adjacent the opposite is here to here, which is forty, over the adjacent which we don't know. And we know that tan alpha, I'm gonna tell you that tan alpha is equivalent to the acceleration which is equal to two. So we know that forty 
over A is equal to 2, therefore A is equal to 20 seconds. Sorry, 20, uh, yeah, 20 seconds, like that. And if you look up here, using NuVast, we get the same result. So we see that tangent is equivalent to uh, acceleration because it's the slope of the line and it's the rate of change, and all of those are the same. Like I said, for good detail, look at questions 6, 7, and 8 on 2B, where I've done a lot of detail on these. I've also actually done a, a separate video on uh, how to use tan to get acceleration. You look at that as well if you like. That's good depth on it. Um, and once again, just finally, we'll do uh, the on, we'll say, call this part here, we'll call this angle here beta. So we'll say tan beta is equal to the opposite, which is 40 over its adjacent, which is equal to unknown. And we knew that is equal to negative 5. Now look, don't write negative 5 because these are just magnitudes. It's like uh, the magnitude of tan beta like this. So for that reason, I want you to just leave out the sign. Just call it a positive or I'll just leave out the sign. So you're going to get basically that, that A is equal to 5 over 40. Oh, what have I done around there? Sorry, 40 over 5 which is equal to 8 seconds. Yeah, like that, which is what exactly what we got up here. So that shows you that you can use your, your tan to get your acceleration as well. So look, that's uh, to be question 5. Thanks for watching. Oh, that was reasonably simple. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and pass it on to your friends.